Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to have a brief video check-in about your blog proposals. Um, so I just recently posted the grades for those. Um, thank you for your patience. I'm sorry that there was a delay. Um, my family just got sick at the end of last week and so everything just kind of got pushed back and it took me longer than I anticipated um, to get everything finished. Um, as a result of the fact that I was a little later than I thought that I was going to be, I thought it only fair to push back the deadline for our first blog post. So I've posted a new updated schedule um, to our course homepage. Um, I also made a little note, so you should have a notification in D2L that that's happened. Um, and um, you can see also that there is an item for a discussion forum, which is actually where you're going to share the link to your blog or Tumblr so that we can be kind of one, sort of seeing what other people are doing and perhaps sharing resources if they're sort of relevant to other kinds of projects. Um, and also just kind of getting a sense of like what our peers are doing in the class. And this is also going to be the way for me to sort of log in and see your blog and sort of see how your progress is going. So I do need you to post a link to the blog um, in that discussion forum. Um, and that due date is now going to be Sunday by midnight. Now you'll notice too that there's the first post due, right? So that in addition to sort of posting the link to the blog, you're gonna want it to have a little bit of content. Now, um, I don't want anyone to panic and feel like they don't necessarily have enough content. The real thing that you're required to do is that in some sense, your first post really should be a little bit of a hello world post, right? So that in some sense, all you really need to say is who you are, what your blog or Tumblr is about, and here you can draw on, of course, what you submitted for your project proposal. Um, and then you want to make sure as well that all the settings on your blog are correct so that when you're posting the link, you're not, say, posting the link to the sort of editable Wix site that you have to log into, that you're actually posting the live URL for your blog. And so after you post the link, you're probably going to want to go back and make sure that it's working for other people. Um, and of course, we'll be, um, I'll be watching that and letting you know if there's a problem. Um, so don't just like post the link and never look at the discussion forum again. You probably want to actually subscribe to the thread that you post so that you get um, email notifications when people comment because if I can't see it, then um, that would obviously be a problem. So you would want to avoid that. Um, so yes, post the link to your blog and Tumblr in the discussion forum. Um, make sure that you say a little bit about just the sort of broad picture topic about what it is that you're working on in the comment box um, of the discussion so that as people are scrolling through, they could see similarities in their projects and maybe like decide that that was a particularly a project that they want to keep an eye on. Um, make sure that you have your sort of hello world first post um, and that, you know, if you have other content that you'd like to post as well, that's fine. You needn't um, only post the hello world post. Um, and just make sure that the settings are correct and that everyone can access it. So I just wanted to kind of log in there and just give a little bit of a brief check in. If you have follow up questions about the feedback that you received on your project proposals, um, please do send me an email. Um, I'm happy to have a continued email conversation about that as well. So thanks, guys. I'm really looking forward to reading what you have. Um, and I think it's going to be kind of fun just to see all the project proposals look great. So it's going to be really interesting.